Good morning, everybody. It's Jillian. So I'll make this sort of quick because I know my dog will be up pretty soon. But, you know, there's a reason why I'm building this virtual community, why I'm building this community at all, why my Facebook will be the place where you're either going to make or break yourself. Okay, no group. Obviously, my Facebook is my page. My website is the information you can derive benefit from or ridicule. I really don't care. Because um, either you'll do, you'll understand my information or you won't. And you'll reap what you sow as far as what you do with your world. And so it's not just becoming whole again. There's a, a whole other part of the JJ world that people don't realize that there are unintended benefits. Okay, so what is also the point of the JJ world besides becoming whole again? Because people don't understand that. They're like, well, I am already whole. I see, I have two arms, two legs, and two days. And, and they don't get predisposed issues. I mean, they do get it, but, you know, they're used to it. They're expecting to get cancer, disease, and chronic illness, and heart attacks, and die. So you can't talk them out of that, and they expect to die. So you still can't talk them out of that. So then there's got to be another way to look at this so people understand it from a lifetime standpoint. So I'm building a virtual community of people who want freedom from both the medical and the holistic system. Okay, so I haven't paid insurance in a long time. I pay car insurance, but I haven't paid health insurance. I haven't even went to the holistic store to buy any tinctures. I haven't been buying any type of medicines for myself or even my husband. Though my husband may have bought, like, may have bought, <laughs> a button, may have bought like Tylenol or something for a headache or NyQuil during really aggressive COVID. But I have not bought any medicine for myself. Or really, actually, I bought one thing for my dog because her ears were getting so bad as far as that that fungus stuff. But that was like one time and that was it. And so you want, so people who want to be part of the JJ world at some point, is there, they want freedom from both the medical and the holistic system. They're tired of, of all the remedies. They're tired of asking the community, what do I do for this? What do I do for that? They're tired of asking other people what to do. They want to do shit on their own. They're tired of asking and depending upon somebody else. Okay? And so and so people who want to cut down the cost and expense of spending money on things they don't need. When you don't have so much diversity in your body, you're not buying anything under you're not buying everything under the sun to placate your microbes. You're not buying health insurance. You're not spending money on health and wellness products or paying co-pays. You're not faced with fear you're gonna die because some surgeon wants to get his quota of surgeries. You have no idea the intentions of behind any kind of professional out there looking to make a dollar. Freedom from other people's greed using your body parts as a commodity. And that includes all of the activism because they're using your fear as a way for them to, hey, you know, line my GoFundMe account. So we can keep getting the word out, okay? And so people who want to, who want infinite exponential potential with intellect, muscle memory, and innovation without overdoing it, because you know people who are over innovated, they glitch and they become everything against what they've done before. And that's someone like you know when you see like when you hear about Einstein and how he always went off his rocker, you hear about you know Manson, you know he he was very smart but also he was extremely destructive. And so you can have really smart, smart people who are against life or develop things that are against life, like literally against life. Okay? The people who in the JJ world that want to be part of this virtual community are people who want to see the future, not theorize the future. Because if you're able to manage the climate change, like I did last night, because I felt the heat from my head to my shoulders. And then maybe five or 10 minutes, I started sneezing. Where the hell did sneeze come from? Sneezing, and I was blowing my nose, and last night I was blowing my nose, and I really pulled out a bunch of stuff out of my butt. Because I ate a bunch of food yesterday, yes, but sometimes it uh, stays in the body, which is fine, because it's programming, it's current programming. But during this climate change, you're releasing a bunch of poop. During different climate changes, you release a bunch of poop because that's the old programming. So when I was sneezing, blowing my nose, I knew there was life happening. And also old life being pushed into all the different exit points. And so, yeah, this morning I released a bunch of poop, but that was the only, my only reaction to climate change. And so if that's your only reaction to climate change over a certain period of time, after you've faced all your demons, you will see the future. You will actually be part of the future. You don't have to theorize it and wonder and dream about it. You will actually be in the future. You are the future. Okay. And then 
people who join the JJ world or want to be part of it, people who want to trust those around them will not leave them. Respect is never saying goodbye in the JJ world. Okay? Love is all about saying goodbye. People die and reproduce in the love world, and they're always saying goodbye to each other. And the vast amounts of suffering from saying goodbye to people who you respect is the worst pain of all. And so if I'm going to help you mitigate pain, then I'm going to say, hey, find people in the JJ world who are fucking serious about finding ways to, to, to um, adapt to climate change. And that who are willing to face their fucking demons who are willing to peel back the layers and layers of programming and face their own fucking demons, those people are going to stick around. Those people you can count on. But those out there, you know, when you think about it, the virtual communities out there are your glimpses of what you could be. Because you could have a slave community where, yeah, this person was CRISPR gene edited to never get sick, to only have a lifespan of maybe 20 years. But during that time... When he's five years old, he'll graduate, you know, high school and 10 years old, he'll have a physics degree. And then, and then, you know, 15 years old, he's, you know, giving you the, 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 I don't know, the formula of this and that. And then when, when, when he's 20 years old, he's died, he's dead. And the system has his formula. We thank him for his service, but he was only here for 20 years. That's the slave class. But hey, maybe give him a little accolades, throw him a bunch of money. But when you think about it, the system doesn't even have to do that. They can just say, hey, you got a special kid. You got a special kid, and they're, and they're going to be, you know, an amazing person. Here, let's just you know, ram down academia down their throat. Let's do this, do that, and get them so smart. And, and then we'll give them all these formulas, and they, and they can figure out this problem that we're having an issue with solving. The kid solves it, and he's never been sick. And then one day climate change happens, and he falls over dead. But they have the answer to their problem. The system has the answer. And that's... In that world over there, the CRISPR gene edited world, those parents who want to commodify their kids, their offspring, and maybe, I don't know if they get money for it, but they get some kind of like, oh, my kid is so fucking smart. And and that's one side of the world that, that okay, but believe me, in the JJ world, we're not trying to go there. We're saying we want you to have infinite exponential potential with intellect, okay? Which means that y you don't have to be stuck in one job, that you could then study for another job. And lay the groundwork for that while you're doing this job and then transition to another job and study that and learn it and everything and be you know a master at it and then okay you know the next you know the next decade i want to do this and then the next decade i want to do this and the next and, and that's how we you know people in the jj world can really be so many different arms of the hydra you're not just relegated to one fucking arm oh well, my only job is to be a psychologist and that's it my only job is to be a chemist and that's it that's my whole life is going to be all about being a chemist or all about being a judge or all about being a lawyer and my lifespan will only be about maybe 30 40 50 years if you're not in the crispr gene edited world of these kids that were being programmed to be little geniuses and then pass away prematurely and so you have now the freedom of not having somebody else program you to be their play toy in whatever manner and it could be an arm candy just like those girls you know on tv with the big boobs and the, and the big butts and all that stuff and they're programmed to be arm candy and, and be used and abused and then they wonder why people are like uh hello and using them for whatever and then they get victimized and they have they're going to tv and say i was victimized well you were programmed to be arm candy it sucks now it's time to redirect and so, yeah, some kids don't know they've been programmed until they go through it and they realize there's something more out there. And so the JJ world catches people who realize there's something more than just what they've been programmed to think and feel and do. And that you have now a vast amount of opportunity to free yourself from the, the chains of the system of expectation of your friends and family who want you to be this certain way and don't want you to ever change. But then you have to be the one to extricate yourself from those clutches. And it's really hard because you love your friends and family. But I'm telling you, respect is never having to say goodbye. Now, the reason why I say I'm not really saying goodbye to the people that I was working next to. I'm just releasing them from my expectations. They had, I, no, I haven't blocked really anyone except for one person who was coming back and trying to say stuff. Not saying bad stuff, but misrepresenting what I want to represent. But I haven't really blocked anyone else. People have access to my website. They have access to my website and they can do the, the whole protocol and they can have an amazing life and maybe they can email me later on and say okay I get where you're coming from now I understand why you blocked me I understand why you know 
But if I don't get that, then I have no reason to have any kind of, you know, reconnection with anyone. But, you know, if, if you understand where I'm coming from and, and see, you know, I'm not saying that you need to admit any wrongdoing, but reconnect in a different platform where it's not like this, this partnership or collaboration, but now it's more like, hey, you know, I, I just get you and, 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 and let's just let the past be the past and let's move forward. But I'm not going to go and friend request everybody that I've ever disconnected with. Some I have because, you know, I see that, the, you know, that there's something that I can, oh, there's a benefit on both ends. If I haven't friend requested, because I either forgot your name and I can't remember your name because I just get used to, used to seeing it. Or, you know, I, 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 you know, you're, you've gone down a road that I'm just like, okay, that's great. Good for you. More power to you. And I don't really have any connection with it. Okay, so, you know, that's what I want in the JJ world. So love is all about saying goodbye. People die and reproduce in the love, and, in the love world, and they're always saying goodbye to each other. And the vast amounts of suffering from saying goodbye to people who you respect is the worst pain of all. And so if you're going to help people lessen the fucking pain in their world, aside from, you know, their biological predisposed issue pain, now it's finding the connections with people who are willing to face their fucking demons, who are willing not to be self-destructive, who are, who are willing just to, to stay alive and, and be evolutionary. Because, I mean, you have a choice not to. There's so many, let me say, there's so many fish out there in the sea who die and reproduce every fucking day. You have a plethora of people who die and reproduce and you can have fun with. But, you know, I, I really want people around me that will stick around. That I could trust that, that they'll stick around and I, and I'll, you know, I mean, as far as things that they can control, things that you can't control, like an asteroid or world war or something, you know, of that nature. Well, shit happens. But you want to trust the, the people that, you know, you want to trust that you're in your body that the, the, the cells will stick around. But you got to keep managing your cells, just like I with my dog. I don't do anything. I don't, I don't put her under any danger. Whether it's outside, I don't purposely put her outside and leave her alone by herself for however long, unless I get everything reinforced. Nothing is reinforced out there as far as keeping her out of danger, so I'm out there constantly watching her. I don't give her to a vet and, and just leave and let the vet do whatever. Fuck no, I don't even give her to a vet. If I, if I have to give her a, get her a vaccine, I will be in that office because of socialization. And if, you know, if, if I want to get her socialized with other animals, then... You know, I'll work that one very carefully because I do want her to get her social at some point. But, you know, and so, and so I have to, you know, watch over my own cells and make sure that they're being taken care of. Just like to watch over my dog, make sure she's taken care of. Okay, so, you know, and so that way they don't, my cells don't fucking leave me unless I want them to leave and I'm pooping and peeing and sweating and everything else. That That's, when you have control over your own world, that's security. And when you know that people are having control over their own world and they're not full of fucking drama and full of self-destruction and full of all this other bullshit, then you're like, you can trust that they're, they're going to have something awesome to contribute to you. Okay. And they're not going to take you down. They're not going to take you down like a Titanic. And so that's ultimately why I've had, I've gone through so many communities the last 40 years. Because every community I've I've been through, everyone's taking each other down. Taking each other down notch by notch by notch by notch by notch. And and so that's why I don't really fit in anywhere because everyone else is going down the ship, going down with the ship and being okay with it, not wanting to evolve, not wanting to change. And here I am going like, hey, hold on. Wait, hold on. <laughs> and so and maybe it I am one of those old souls. I mean, I'm in America where they allowed old souls to come to surface. The, the, the innovation in America is fucking exponential. I read something where this kid was remembering that he died 40 years ago. Okay? And he's like reincarnated or some, or he has some kind of colony of hydra in his body that has given him memories of him dying 40 years ago as a Hollywood star or something. I forget the whole article. And then so I read the comments. Someone's like, oh, only in America you have those crazies in America that are saying these things. America is a land of fucking innovation. 
we're the last great experiment. They did so much MK Ultra, so much high stress in politics, religion, and science. You're going to get people like Charles Manson. You're going to be able to get like, you know, Einstein. You're, well, not so Einstein, but you're going to get people like all the different people that you're seeing that are coming out in America. The crazies, the geniuses, the ones with great innovation, biotech, tech industry, Silicon Valley. Okay? And so, of course, you're going to have so many just interesting, different things coming out of America. Okay? And so, of course, it's no surprise that the JJ world came out of America, especially Silicon Valley, the land of fucking innovation, the land of high stress, the land of major expectation, the land of, oh my God. And so as I am, you know, watching my dog go through her metamorphosis and she is getting heavier and heavier and she's, and she's going to have to, you know, build up her, her strength. She has strength, but she has to build up her agility and her balance and all of that. And, you know, it's going to take some time, but she's not deteriorating from that little, that little mass that she has. Okay. She's not deteriorating because I'm telling you, it, 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 another person who'd see that be like, oh my God, cut it out. Oh my God, freak out. And they would freak the fuck out. People do when they see shit, but they have to realize that their body has to assimilate to that. And so, you know, when I don't have to do anything, but just feed my dog, feed myself, pull out the fecal programming. That's the easiest way to stay alive indefinitely. We've all been sold a bunch of a bill of goods. We've all been sold so many fucking stories. We've been sold so much fear so somebody can line their own pockets and get their quotas. Oh, I'm done. I'm done being a, a pincushion. I'm done being somebody else's experiment. I'm done forking over thousands and thousands of dollars to an industry that doesn't save people, really. You end up in the morgue. But there you go. That's diversity. You're going to have a major segment of the population that's going to live in that. It's going to be that. And you can't say that it's bad or wrong. But in my JJ world, I'm done with that system. You can understand my thought process and understand what you're in for. I'm not saying that they that that, that system isn't relevant for those who are so far gone, who want to have just that shortened lifespan, whatever it is. But... uh but what I am saying is that at some point, there's got to be a community that is free from that, free from the commodification of body parts. And we're not actively, I mean, yeah, you, I guess you could have a baby in the JJ world, but you'd have to deteriorate. You want to have a baby working your way up to just, to not deteriorate then versus get to a point where your everything is great and then you deteriorate and then have a baby. Because I said, you know, my husband, well, I haven't had my period and I'm not pregnant. It's like, okay, well, <laughs> and the only way I probably get pregnant is if I get into a car accident or I fall down the stairs and I have major blunt force trauma and then I drop an egg and that egg will then be my period or there'd be some aggressive, aggressive climate change that would cause catastrophic stuff that would then force me to drop an egg to carry on my genetic line. That was the only re reason why I'd have a child or not have a child, but be fertile. Because you can be fertile and not have it fertilized, have your egg fertilized. And so, yeah, so if you want to have a baby, do it now before you become a whole person. Because once you become a whole person, something aggressive would have to happen to you for you to drop an egg. And so, and so there's got to be, I guess, some part of society that carries on the genetic line and, and, keeps, and keeps reproducing innovation and using that innovation, those proteins, to then innovate those who are already well. And so... I guess that's the way the society is going to be. You're going to have one little segment that's going to be living indefinitely. And then they're going to put out, you know, different vaccines and different biotechnological innovation to innovate the current population. And there's got to be a patient zero. And that's going to be someone who died and reproduced, died and reproduced, died and reproduced. And we'll give them money and they'll do their job and we thank them for their service. And then we'll breathe in all of their spores and be upgraded and then go about our merry way and still keep living as they are saying goodbye to their friends and family because they're living a shortened lifespan in a climate change environment. So there's going to be those sides of the world. That's how I see the future, especially with the JJ world, because I will take on other people's innovation. I'll cough, sneeze, and blow my nose, 
and then, then I'll take on the, the, the benefits and release the detriments and I'll still be fine. While someone else takes on innovation and they fucking die from a heart attack or stroke because they can't fucking handle it. They fucking can't handle it. But the JJ world, you're going to work your way to handling the innovation that's being put out there in the environment. And you don't have to die from it. it but you will have to go through the fire right now because you have so much diversity, so much innovation in your body that wasn't allowed to release because of the anti-inflammatories and the surgeries and everything else. And so now it's time to uh, to see that there's another another arm of the Hydra. And so the JJ world is another virtual community of another possibility called diversity. All right, bye.